<laughs> no one's gonna know I faked this funeral. I'm gonna be rich. Oh no, they're coming. Precious baby boy. He was so innocent. He brought so much light into our lives. It's unbearable. Can't believe my little brother's gone. But what's with all these presents and the money? Your brother always loved gifts and money, Brody. It seemed right to have them. Okay, I guess. I'm just still in shock. I, I didn't even get to say goodbye. Tell him that I loved him. Hey, so sorry for your loss, but it's time to head home and get some rest. You've been through enough today. I think you're right. It's too painful to stay here anymore. Are they gone? Yeah, they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Good. Keep it that way. No one can ever know I had a fake funeral. Oh, is my phone in here? Oh, man, where did I put it? <coughs> Brody? Oh, hey, Dad. How's Mom doing? Your mom's an absolute wreck, so she's lying down. Yeah, I think we're all a wreck right now. Yeah, no kidding. Man, I think I left my phone at the funeral home. Well, you better go back and get it, Brody, because I'm not going to buy you a new one. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. Man, my phone better be around here somewhere. <laughs> this is sweet. I'm so rich now. What the heck? Raylan? Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. He's alive? Did he fake his own funeral? Oh, my gosh, I got to catch him. Raylan, stop. For hours, I can't find Braylon anywhere in town. I know he's hiding. Such a spoiled brat. Where on earth have you been, Brody? You've been gone for hours, and you better have a good excuse. Sorry, I was I was looking for Braylon. What are you talking about? I saw Braylon leave the funeral home with a lot of cash. He's alive. How dare you say such crazy things? It's true. I swear I saw him. That funeral was fake. He lied to us. Your brother is dead. Why on earth would you say that? Are you just seeing things? Do you miss him that much? No, I saw him leave the funeral home. I was chasing him. No, no, no. That's enough. I can't stand this. Maybe we should go on that vacation we talked about. Get away from all of this. You know what? That's a good idea. I I'll go pack. Wait, you're leaving now? I need you to help me find Braylon, please. No, we're going away on vacation and getting away from you and this nonsense. Look what you did. You're breaking your mother's heart with these lies. I'm not lying. Braylon is. He's dead, Brody. The sooner you accept it, the sooner we can move on. I can't believe they don't believe me. I know he's alive, and I'm going to prove it. There's no way your brother's still alive, man. He was hit by that car. Yeah, that's what we all thought. But there's something else going on. He must have faked it or something. Well, dude, if that's true, it's pretty messed up. Look, that's the car he was driving. No way. There's got to be like a million Robux in here. That's kind of strange. But if this is his car, where is he? Hey, you two! Put your hands up right now! Uh, officer, wait. I think you can help me. I'm looking for my brother. Yeah, and I'm looking for a stolen car. And look at that. Here it is. With you two criminals who took it. And a ton of cash? Oh, yeah, that's gonna be mine. What? No, seriously. We didn't steal this car. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. And I'm so sick of hearing it. Now, you bozos are under arrest. No, come on. That's what you get for following me. Brody, <laughs> this is too good. First, you say that your brother is alive, and now you're stealing sports cars? What's gotten into you, son? Dad, I didn't steal the car. That's why they let me out of jail. Then who did, huh? I saw Braylon driving it. It must have been him. Brody, you didn't see your brother. You're really starting to lose your mind. I'm perfectly fine, Dad. I know what I saw. Honey, do you have everything packed? Yes, although I can't believe we're leaving right now after our son was arrested. Yeah, I can't believe you're leaving me too. I mean, you should be staying here and helping me out. Maybe we should stay? Clearly Brody is upset. Or maybe he should come with us. No, Brody can stay here and think about what he's done. I don't want him bringing this nonsense with us. Come on, honey, let's go. Mom, please, you've got to believe me. I wish I could, honey, but I can't. It hurts too much. Now, we're going to be gone for a while and we won't have any cell service. So if it's an emergency, call the police, okay? I love you and feel better. Everything is going to be okay. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I can't sleep. Just keep thinking about my brother. Oh, no. Someone's breaking into the house. Get out of my house. Oh, stop. It's me. What the heck? Braylon? Yeah, dude. Who else would it be? I knew you were alive. I knew I wasn't crazy. Huh. Oh, cut it out, dude. You faked your own funeral. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? You know what you've done to us? I had to do it. Oh, you had to? You had to lie to your own family? You had to break your mother's heart? Oh, you don't understand. Oh, yeah? 
Try me. Give me one reason why this is okay. T I can't tell you. It's a secret. And if I do tell you, you could be in serious trouble. Fine, at least tell me what you're doing here. I wanted some food. I'm starving. Where's mom and dad? They left on a vacation because they're super upset because they think that you're dead. They left on vacation without me? Oh, that's sucks. Whatever, just keep it that way. Don't tell them anything. Did they leave you any money? No, I have my own money. Well, they give me like 500 bucks. No way. <sighs> Whatever, you're so lame. And you're a spoiled brat, dude, and you're a liar. So what? You know what? I'm over this. You're giving me a headache. Mom and dad are gone. I'm going to bed. First thing in the morning, you're going to tell me everything, dude. Whatever, just leave me alone. I'm telling you, dude, he's upstairs asleep right now. What the heck, man? That's insane. Yeah, you're telling me. I want to call and tell my parents, but they're in the middle of nowhere with no cell service. I have to wait till they come back. Dude, who fakes their own death? Seriously. My spoiled brother, that's who. Now I know why he wanted gifts and money at his funeral. Dude, that is so messed up. Yeah, dude, he scammed everybody. But, uh, hey, let me call you back. There's someone here. Hello, Brody. I'm the mayor, and this is Police Chief Rufus. Are your parents home? No, they're not. Why? What's going on? Well, we wanted to come by and say we're sorry to hear about the loss of your brother. Yeah, that's right, y'all. And that was so sad. I cried like for five minutes. I'm sorry to break it to you, but he's not dead. Oh, no, Mr. Mayors. This poor little guy is all distraught, y'all. He's losing his moms. Yes, it's true. I see it all the time. Well, I just wanted to come by and give you this invitation. The city is throwing a big fundraiser for Braylon's charity. Wait, what? Braylon's charity? I don't know what that is. Oh, yes. It's once for all the poor people, y'all. Yes, your brother set up a charity for the poor, <laughs> and we're throwing in an event this weekend. We'd love to see you and your family there. Uh, I don't know what to say. That's okay. You going wild right now. Okay, we gonna go now, Mr. Mayors. We, You owe me some chipotle, y'all. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe he's doing this. That's right, the whole town is mourning the loss of young Braylon. The most popular boy in school. He will truly be missed by everyone, but there'll be a fundraiser for his charity this weekend. We encourage everyone to come and support and donate a ton of money. I know I'll be there, and I'm super rich, so I'll give a bunch of money. Hey, dude, I was watching that. They were talking about me. Are you serious, dude? What is this charity thing? Another scam? Well, like, before I died, I made up a charity and said I wanted people to donate to it. Isn't that awesome? No, it's wrong. This is like beyond messed up, dude. Oh my gosh, you're being so dramatic. Wow, that's rich coming from you. You're the one faking your own death, lying to literally everyone. I know you're just doing this to scam money and gifts from people. Well, yeah, kinda, sorta, not really, but like, okay, yeah. What's that even mean, dude? Can you just tell me the truth and stop being an idiot? I told you, I can't tell you what's going on. You have to, or I'm gonna tell everyone this is fake. Whatever, loser, you're literally being so lame. I've got business to take care of. I'll be back later. Business? You don't even have a job. Where are you going, dude? Shut up. I'm out of here. Yo, dude, I'm here. Get out here now. Oh, about time, loser. Sorry. Things got, like, really complicated. Yeah, I don't care. Where's my money? Here it is, but, uh, I only could get, like, part of it. Fine, man. It's a start, but I'm gonna need all that money you spent, dude. Hey, bro. I'm just trying my best. It's hard to make money when you're, like, dead. I have to stay hidden. Plus, I told you I was sorry. Thought that was your money. I don't care what you thought, dude. Just get me the money, or you're gonna be sorry. Don't worry. I've got a big charity event happening this weekend, and I'll get you the rest of the money after it's over. And then some more. We can go, like, hang out or whatever. Shut up. You better have my money. Get off my property right now. And we're not friends anymore. We're never hanging out again. I don't want to see you after this. All right, fine. Okay, you got this, Braylon. You're gonna do this for just a little longer, and then you'll be free of this mess. Oh, this sucks. Oh, man, this better be him. Hi, honey. We're home. Oh, gosh. Mom, Dad, thank goodness you're back. Really? We were only gone for a week, son. How are you feeling? Any better? No, not at all. And Braylon's definitely alive. I know it sounds crazy, but he was here. He broke in. Oh, no, not this again. Please, I can't deal with this. I thought you would have let this go by now. Look at what you did to your mother. She just walked in through the door. I'm sorry, Dad, but he was here in this house, I swear. He's supposed to be coming back and- Look, enough is enough. We have your brother's charity event tomorrow night. If you don't straighten up, you'll have to stay home. No, none of us should go. What? Don't go. Are, are you insane? We have to go. No, it's all a scam. It's one of Braylon's tricks, like the funeral. You have to believe me. That's it. You are not allowed to go to the event anymore. You're going to embarrass your mother and I with this nonsense, and I won't listen to it. Fine, I don't want to go anyway. Oh, gosh, they still don't believe me. I need some kind of proof to show them that Braylon's still alive. They have to see it for themselves. 
Are you even listening to me or are you just stupid? I said I want the new Supreme hoodie in my size and I want it now. Well, sir, we're sold out of your size, okay? We have plenty of other designs that are- No, 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 I don't care. I want what I want and I always get what I want. Go to another store and get my size, the new Supreme hoodie. Oh gosh, all right. God, you're the worst. Yeah, sure thing. Go now. There you are. Uh, um, uh, excuse me, sir. I, I don't think I know you. What's your name? Shut up, Braylon. You're terrible at doing voices. Take off your stupid disguise. Ugh, fine, whatever. I had you fooled for a second, though. No, you didn't. Enough is enough, man. You need to come home, and you need to tell mom and dad the truth right now. <laughs> no, no way. You can't tell me what to do. I don't care. They need to know. You should see them, dude. They're a wreck. They miss you a lot. I, I don't know how you can do this to them. Yeah, okay, look, I miss them too. If I tell you, mom, or dad the truth, everyone's gonna be in danger. Why? What did you do, man? I just did something really stupid, okay? I'll tell you more about it after the charity event. Dude, you've already done a bunch of stupid stuff. You're coming home with me right now. Sorry, dude, not gonna happen. Ha! Ow, Braylon, what the heck, dude? God, I wish I knew what Braylon was up to, dude. I know he's doing something even more messed up than last time. Man, I hate to say it, but your brother really sucks. Yeah, I know. He's so spoiled, and he does, like, nothing but lie. And he won't even tell me why he faked the funeral. That's the worst part. So, like, what's going on with this big charity event? I mean, it's all over the news. Where's the money even gonna go to? So, my guess is he's just gonna take the donations for himself. Yep, sounds like your brother. I remember he used to scam kids at school for their lunch money all the time. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna need your help catching him. We can't let him keep doing this. I don't know, man. Last time I helped you, we got framed for stealing a car. I know, but this time, if we catch him, there's no way we can get in trouble. Uh, okay, fine. So what's your plan on catching your brother? I got an idea. Thank you for throwing this event for our son's charity, officer. All these people here be giving so much monums. This is like the biggest charity events in Hermsbury. This is wild, y'all. Oh, man. I think the whole town is here. Oh, sweet. There should be so much money now. Now I just need to find a way to get in without getting caught. Oh, yeah. I think the money's in here. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. I'm trying to be in and out, okay? No. I'm taking you to go talk to mom and dad right now. They can't keep believing your lies. No, you're gonna ruin everything. I don't care. Let's go. You suck. I'm out of here. Stupid idiot. Oh! I wasn't gonna let you go that easy. Thanks for helping me out, Connor. Ouch, what the heck, dude? Put me down right now. Yeah, sure, you got it. Oh! What the? Look, I'm not crazy. Oh, uh, hey, mom. Hey, dad. Saw, dude. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Braylon, you're, you're alive? Um, okay, you're supposed to be dead, y'all. This is terrible and wild. We need to get away from all these crowds. You need to come down to the police station with me right now. Okay, so I don't understand many things, but what I know is you fakes your own funerals. So why'd you do that, y'all? That's bad. I'm not telling you anything. Where's my lawyer? Dude, for one, you don't need a lawyer. And two, Officer Rufus is just trying to help you. Tell him what's going on so we can get you out of whatever mess you got yourself into. No, I can't say anything, especially not to the police. Okay, you know what, y'all? Let's take a break because I'm hungrums and I need the burritos. So I'll be right back. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm great. You already got caught for being alive and stealing from your own fake charity. I think it's time to come clean with everybody, dude. It's just getting annoying. I just had to do it, okay? Just tell me why! My goodness, dude! Fine! I spent a lot of money that belonged to Percy's dad. Your friend Percy? Why? His mom and dad wouldn't give me enough money. Percy said I could have some, but he, like, didn't tell me it was his dad's. He said it was his, but it wasn't. And then his dad found out, and now he wants his money back. How much did you spend? Like, five million dollars, I think think five million dollars on what dude what the heck what's the big deal i needed some like new clothes a new car like a yacht unbelievable how can you spend all that money so quickly you know what dude i'm done helping you you put yourself in this mess you can get yourself out of it so wait you're just gonna leave me here i mean i just told you everything that happened help me yeah and it's worse than i thought man you stole five million dollars from someone i think you should stay so you can think about what you've done we're so sorry we didn't believe you, honey. Well, I'm glad you guys finally know. And now I know why he made all this mess. Well, why did he do it, huh? Why did he fake his funeral? Well, he spent $5 million of Percy's dad's money, and now he wants it back. So that's why he's trying to steal the money from the charity event. Five million dollars? Oh no, 
this is terrible. This is Braylon's mess. He lied to everybody and he stole $5 million. I mean, he needs to learn why this is wrong. Hey, that is your little brother, young man. We should be helping him. After everything he's put us through, you let him off the hook and you help him? I mean, dad, every single decision he made was the worst decision possible. Your brother never deals with stress very well, so we need to help him. Maybe we can sell off some of the cars or the house. I think that can get us close to the amount. Maybe. Oh, man. Unbelievable. What is going on with you guys? He's so spoiled. You guys can't see what you're doing. You're turning him into this. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whew. Did y'all see your little brothers, y'all? No. Okay, this ain't good, y'all. Okay, because your little brothers escaped from the police stations. What? Yes, and that's not good because he be going wild. Okay, I just got to go looking for him, y'all. Now he's escaping from jail. You guys proud? Oh, no. Your poor brother. I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm out of here. Police are still looking for him. Now he's hiding somewhere? I'm just so disappointed. He needs to pay for what he's done. Hey, idiot, you're late. Yeah, sorry, boss. I just woke up late, that's all. Well, you're here now. So go organize the new products in the back. I don't even want to look at your ugly face. Get away from me. Yeah, okay, sure. Dude, what the heck are you doing here? Shh, I'm hiding, obviously, you idiot. Gosh, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 please don't, don't do that. Come on. Why? Because if I get put in jail, Percy's dad's gonna know exactly where I am. He'll come and find me. Who cares? Why are you so scared of Percy's dad? I mean, you're just gonna get in trouble for stealing the money. No, dude, he's like super rich and I think he's dangerous. Percy said he's like a criminal of some kind. I don't know. I'm scared, man, please, I need your help. Fine, dude. Whatever. I didn't see you, but you got to hide somewhere else. A manager could find you easily. You got to be smarter if you're going to be doing stuff like this. But I don't have anywhere else to go. What am I going to do? Uh... <sighs> Gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Here, take some money and go get a hotel room or something. Not a fancy hotel room, okay? Somewhere low key. I'll try to figure out how to fix this. All right. Thanks, dude. Do you have like any more money? Just get out of here before I punch you. I swear. Well, I guess if you need to solve a problem, it's best to go straight for the source. Uh, yeah, stop right there. This is private property. You need to leave. Yeah, I'm here to talk to Percy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Excuse me, sir. Some poor loser is here looking for you. Tell him it's Braylon's brother, Brody. Uh, he says he's Braylon's brother. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, sir. You can go on in loser but don't touch anything yeah whatever dude hey percy what are you doing here man where's your brother i don't know but i gotta talk to you i don't have anything to say to you man i have to talk to your brother percy look i know braylon spent some money that belonged to your dad some money that loser stole five million dollars my dad saw it missing from his bank account you know how mad he is dude i know braylon's really sorry but can we work out a deal or something you guys are so rich like five million is probably not that much no we can't work out a deal my dad's out there looking for him right now do you even know who my dad is and how he makes his money man he doesn't like when people steal from him so tell me where your brother is i don't know where he is okay then you're both in a lot of trouble security oh no you're not running away from me get back here oh gosh Braylon gave me some stupid fake name for his hotel room. Better be here. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Uh, excuse me. Which room is Chad McFarlane staying in? Oh, Mr. McFarlane. He rented the penthouse suite. What? Yeah, he said he was super rich and he demanded our best room. Honestly, he was kind of rude. You can take the elevator over there. Thanks, man. Gosh, what the heck is wrong with him? Oh, dude, there you are. Did you bring me the pizza like I asked for? No, I didn't. How did you even pay for this room? Do you have any idea how expensive this is? I don't know. I mean, I figured like you'd just pay for it. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. Uh, whatever. Did you fix everything yet? Is like Percy's dad not mad at me anymore? No, I tried to, man. Turns out when you steal $5 million from somebody, they don't get over it very quickly. Oh, dude, this sucks. So, like, what did you do? I went to Percy's house to talk to him. You did what? Yeah, I tried to work out a deal, but Percy said no. Of course he said no. Oh, you are so stupid, you know that? Now he knows that you know the truth. Well, you're the one that basically stole the money. Yeah, but I wanted to keep you, mom, and dad out of it. Now this is bad. This is really, really bad. Why? Because I found out Percy's dad definitely runs an underground gang. He's super dangerous. Great, it's dad. Hold on. Hey, dad. Brody, you need to come home right now. It's an emergency. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. It sounds like mom and dad are in trouble. I gotta go. I told you so. Oh, no, no. Our house has what happened? We have no idea. We came home from having dinner out and the house was on fire. This is terrible. All of our things are gone. Wait, what's that over there? That's a note. Brody, give me my money back or 
give me a brother. If you don't, I'm gonna ruin your family's lives. Oh my gosh, this is awful. We need to call the police immediately. Hello, 911? Yes, I'm extremely distraught. Send someone down here now. I told you, I want a gold-plated steak or nothing at all. I'll tell the chef right away, sir. Talking to people who work for us with disrespect. <laughs> I taught you well. Hey, Dad, did you find Braylon or his dumb brother yet? No, they weren't home, so I burned it to the crown. Good, they deserved it. Your little friend and his brother could cause a lot of problems for this family. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do, Dad, and I'm sorry I let him spend your money. It's too late for apologies now, kid. If that money gets treated back to me we could be ruined what should i do they're hiding now they know that you're after him i need you and our security team to go out there get those boys and bring them to me yeah i will dad i promise oh yes we'll make them pay there's nothing left all of our memories all of our things just gone like that because of Braylon and his stupid spoiled attitude. Hey, don't talk about your brother like that. He didn't burn our house down. He might as well have. This is all his fault. The police have no evidence who was behind this. Are you serious, man? You know who it was. It was Percy's dad. And this is all because Braylon stole from him. Your brother just, uh, just got carried away. That's all. No, you guys spoiled him his whole life. You think he can just take whatever he wants and lie and scam people. The reality is, is nobody else cares about him. They care about their money. Now we're all in serious trouble because of him. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Your brother is missing, and if I could, I would make him face the consequences for his actions. But I can't! For now, we just have to try and find anything worth saving. Get to looking. Just sucks. He should be here, not hiding in some dumb penthouse. Hold on. Do you know where your brother is? Yeah, he's hiding at a fancy hotel downtown. Ho, ho, ho. Well then, I'm going to go get him. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Brody is right. Enough's enough. Braylon's spoiled attitude has gone too far. I've lost my home now because of my own son. I'm gonna get him and bring him straight to the police station. Ah! What the heck was that? Hey, you idiot! You hit my car in a red light! Shut up, you're coming with me. Excuse me, who even are you? Yeah, you'll find out soon enough. Ah! Oh, help, help me! Oh! <laughs> Dude, you and your family can stay at my house as long as you want. My parents said it was totally okay. You guys are the best. Thanks for having our back in this situation. I know it's dangerous. Uh, no problem, man. Your brother can't stay with us, though. He might steal something and try to sell it. I don't know. Yeah, I get it, dude. Don't worry. He's still in hiding anyway. Uh, dude? What happened to our house? Well, this is what happens when you steal $5 million from somebody that runs a criminal gang. This isn't my fault, dude. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Come on, where's dad? Didn't he go to get you? What? Why? He literally was like, I'm on the way to the hotel to get you. Uh, he never came to the hotel. I just got kicked out because I couldn't pay for the room. Oh, no. Come on. Dad, pick up. Uh, he didn't answer? Uh, this isn't good. Percy's dad might have taken him. Great. Now my dad might be kidnapped. This is your fault, dude. I, I can't believe you. No, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. I was in a pet house room playing video games. Look, enough. You need to come with me. Ew, why? Where are we going? The mall? No, the police. Let's go. Yeah, no. I'm not going to jail, loser. Later. So there's nothing that you can do. I know you really sad, y'all, and I'm really sorry, ma'ams, but I can't find your husbands. We found his car, though, but there's no trace of him anywhere. It's like, that man gone, y'all. Officer Rufus, I think at this point, it's safe to say that Percy's dad took him. He's the one that's behind the fire, and now this. Okay, so here's the truth. I love to arrest bad guys, y'all, okay? That's kind of what I do, but I need evidence to do it, y'all. Otherwise, there's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry. I got to go back out there, though, and look for your dads, okay? If that man's after you, you stay here where it's safe. How am I not supposed to worry? Your dad has been kidnapped and our home is destroyed. And where is your brother in all of this? I don't know. He ran away again. Well, you need to go get him. We need his help. He's too scared. He doesn't want to face the consequences of his actions. Maybe if we give him some money? No, mom, geez, this is how you got into this mess. Okay, okay, you're right. I just, I don't know what to do. Don't worry, I'll get Braylon to help us out one way or another. Why on earth am I being held captive in a cage? It's simple. 
Your son stole my money, and I want it back. Then go get it from him. I don't know what to tell you. I tried. He's hiding and won't give me the dough. Probably because he spent it all. Oh, is that so? I'm getting that five million back one way or another. Give me his phone. You're going to transfer all your money to me. Absolutely not. There's no way I would ever do such a thing. If you ever want to see your family again, you'll do as I say. I burned your house down. Imagine what else I could do. Ugh, fine. I can't believe I'm doing this. Here, I transferred the money, but that's all I have. <laughs> that's a start. I need more. I told you I don't have any more. Fine, then I'll get it from your family. No, no, please leave them alone. Bring me that ugly one, Brody, and bring him to me now. Dude, how are we gonna find your stupid spoiled brother anyways? The city's huge. I don't know, man. He has no money and no skills, so he probably hasn't gone very far. Well, we haven't checked out the park. Let's see if he's there. Yeah, good idea. I think we should split up. Might cover more ground that way. All right, sounds good. Hey, you! I've been looking for you. Oh, no! Oh, you're not gonna run away from me this time! Why are all these kids running? I hate it! No, no, no! <laughs> Nowhere left for you to run. You're coming with me. No, he's not. Brody, now. Ha, ha. Take this. Leave me alone. Oh, you kids are crazy. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Well, I'm glad I saw that guy chasing after you. But I don't think it's safe for us out here anymore. I know. You should go home. I can find Braylon on my own. But we've looked basically everywhere. How are you going to find him? Just trust me. I think I know where he is. He better be here. Yep, of course he is. Oh, come on, you stupid car. Why won't you open? Open sesame or something. Oh! Dude, what do you think you're doing? Ew, are you like stalking me? Oh, I came to get you. I need your help. My help? With what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe saving our family. Dude, everyone's gonna be like, fine. Just like, chill. No, they won't. You don't care about your family at all. I don't understand. Of course I care. But I lied to them. I lied to everyone. Y'all are better off without me. So that's why I'm like getting out of here. It's not true. We love you, dude. We just wish that you told us the truth and you stop acting so spoiled. Well, it's too late for the truth now. It's never too late. Just help me now. Face the consequences of your actions and save your family. Do the right Right thing for once. Fine, I will. Just being on the run like sucks anyways. And I miss my family. I miss you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. Thank you. You know where I can find dad? No idea. But I think I know who does. All right, let's see if this works. What? Hey, it's me. I'm out front and I have your dad's money. <sighs> Good. About time, you idiot. I'll be right there. Braylon, show yourself, man. Give me the money. Here's your money, Percy. What the? How did you? Ah! Yo, good job, dude. Let's take this loser to the police. All right, persons. I think it's time you spill them beams. Where's your dad's keeping their daddy, y'all? Yeah, no way I'm telling on my dad. Why? Just because he's your dad? No, I don't care about that, man. If he gets arrested, I lose all my money. You already lost, Percy. Just tell Officer Rufus the truth. Yeah, because you know what the truth means. You're the one that stole from us. <sighs> You know what? You're right. Officer Rufus, I need to tell you the truth. Okay, what's the truth now, y'all? I stole money from Percy's dad. That's why he's after me and my family. <laughs> okay, what's so funny? Because I didn't hear no yokes, y'all. Oh, man, this guy's just such an idiot. He hasn't even figured it out yet. He didn't steal the money. I did. Wait, what? You made Braylon think he was the thief? Cha, I told my dad the same thing. I took the money and made Braylon spend it. It's all been a scam. I has had it up to here with all this non-sams. And by the way, you just confessed to a crime, so you're going to jail, y'all. No, nah, no, nah, please. I don't want to go to jail. I'll, uh, I'll get the money back to my dad. It's like taking my own money, man. You can't just arrest me for that. Okay, I don't know as much about monums, but all I know is you better do what's right. And you're going to tell me right now where Brody and Braylon's dance is. Are you going to jail for a long, long, long time? Fine, I'll tell you everything. Ugh, stupid kid, answer your stupid phone! Yeah, boys will be boys. My sons never answer the phone when I call either. Shut up! Something must be wrong. Oh my gosh, boys! You found me! Dad, I'm so glad you're okay. What? 
How did you find me? Percy told us everything. He told us the truth. <laughs> what truth? I didn't do it. Your stupid son did. And here, this is it. They'll let my dad go. My son's a liar and a thief? Yeah, he is. Perfect. <laughs> Later, losers. Not so fast, creepy bams. You want to arrest for kidnapping and stealings and being a criminal. No! Everyone, stop. It's a ghost. He's at his own funeral. No, I'm not a ghost, guys. I'm real. This is really me. Jake, is that really you? Yes, it's me. I'm not a ghost, okay? There's so much that's happened. So much that you guys don't understand. I am so happy to see you. But what is going on? Well, I think it's time that I tell you guys what really happened. Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Shut up and don't move. We have the place surrounded. Look, man, I don't know what you want, but you could take anything here, all right? Just, just don't hurt me. Well, not after your possession. Then what are you after? We're after you. What? What do you? Uh, ah! Oh man, what's what's going on? Where am I? Uh, am I in the middle of a, a desert? What? A anyone, please help me! What's going on? Oh, finally something. It's it's at the diner. Why is it in the middle of nowhere? Anyone? A uh, uh, waiter. Waiter, please help me. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, some food would be nice. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, sure. What do you want? A burger? Yeah, that'd be amazing. All right, that costs six Robux. Oh. Oh, I think the thugs took my money when they knocked me out. Uh, I don't have any money on me. Well, if you don't have any money, then you're not getting any food. Wait, what? Come on, I need to eat. Yeah, and I need to pay the rent on this place. Get out of my face, you're wasting my time. Look, you don't need to be rude, all right? I don't even know where I am. I, I got knocked out. I'm in the middle of nowhere now. I'm nowhere near my house. Please, just help me. All right, all right. Want some food? Follow me. Okay, thank you so much. Here, if you want some food, eat it out of the dumpster. What? Are you, you can't be serious. I am serious. I'm not gonna waste my perfectly cooked food on some homeless guy. I'm not homeless. Look, I promise when I get back home, I, I can pay you. I can pay you double if anything. By the looks at you, it doesn't look like you have any money at all. How should I believe you? I gotta get back to my customers. Come on, no, please. I've been kidnapped. Uh, you don't understand. Uh, man, are you serious? I can't believe this. Hey, man, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not okay. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know where I am. Yeah, I heard everything. If you need help, Help getting back i was just about to leave i could give you a ride somewhere wait really you do that sure looks like you really could use some help awesome i really appreciate it thank you so much yeah there's just no sign of him anywhere ma'am what what do you mean there's no sign of him i don't know but i mean everything is left behind he has no phone or anything it was all on the floor and the dining table well that's crazy we gotta keep looking for him yeah i mean we've been searching everywhere too uh but i don't know it's not looking too good no we gotta keep going i'm not gonna give up looking for my husband We've been searching night and day, and I mean, a lot of these cases kind of happen, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys about something. Okay. Every single time this happens, uh, the person that's missing doesn't make it back. I can't believe that my brother would just be gone like that. No, no, I won't believe it. There's not a guarantee he will come back. Sarah, I hate to say it, but I think we need to prepare for the worst. No, no, I'm not gonna take that for an answer. Sorry, but maybe we need to start thinking about Jake's things and- No, no, I don't want to prepare for the worst. Oh man, I can barely see anything in this rain. We're going too fast. Oh no, we're hydroplaning, no! Ah! Oh man, oh, what's going on? Ow. Jake, are you okay? Uh, no, no, w w what happened? We lost control and we crashed. Oh no, look, look at the car. It's, it's completely ruined. Well, at least we're okay though. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh man, do you have any idea where we are? No, no idea. And there's no service out here? I've been trying to call for help, but there's nothing. Oh man, um, well, I think as long as we know the general direction where to go, then we should be fine. Yeah, I think we should keep moving. Yeah, I do too. Let's go this way. Look, do, do, you, do you see that, Sean? Yeah, it looks like some kind of cabin. Yeah, it also looks abandoned. It doesn't look like anyone's living in it. Well, at least we can wait out the storm there. Yeah, but we should probably be careful, okay? We don't know what's inside there. <laughs> what? What's that? What's that noise? What is it? it? Sounds like someone's trying to get in the cabin. What? Oh no, what should we do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we gotta think fast though. It doesn't look like there's anywhere we can go. Well, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I uh, I think we should hide. Alright, just, just just stay calm. Who knows who's trying to come in right now? No, there's no one in here. Yeah, I'm still looking for him. Promise the boss I would find him. I'll take care of him. Yeah, I bet you will. What? Take this! Ugh. Ugh. What is, what is going on? Who are you? Huh, got the best of me. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know who you are. 
Yeah, now you're piecing it together, huh? Why are you following me? What do you want? Like I'm gonna tell you anything. Jake, who is this guy? This is the guy that kidnapped me. Him and someone else knocked me out and just left me in the middle of nowhere. Why? Why did you do this to me? I'm not telling you a thing. Oh, uh, you will. Jake, I think we should probably just get out of here. Guy uh, must have come here with a truck or something. And what, just leave him behind? He has all the answers to what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe someone's gonna come find him if he's missing too. Uh-huh, this guy is a smart one. I think we should just take his truck and get out of here. All right, all right, uh, uh fine. Uh, we gotta go then now. Wait, before we go, what's this? Looks like some kind of walkie-talkie. Maybe I can use it to try to figure out some answers. Guess it's worth a shot. Uh, any, anyone over? Anyone? Tony, there you are. Where you been? You find that guy yet or what? Uh, uh, no, no, I didn't find that guy. I have no idea where that guy is. Nope. Tony, you sick or something? You sound awful. Yeah, yeah, I had, uh, I had too many, too, too much raspberry iced tea. Well, all right. Listen, meet me at the hideout, okay? We gotta go over the plan. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I forgot where the hideout was again. It's, you know, so many hideouts, so hard to keep track. Put the address in the truck's GPS. Just make sure you get back here in one piece. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, for sure. All right, uh, 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 bye. Can't believe that guy bought that. I have no idea either, but now we know where their headquarters are. So then what are we gonna do once we get there? I haven't really thought that far ahead, but I need to know the truth. I can't go on with my life with just being hunted like this. Listen, I'll take you to the base, but after that, I, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I understand. I know you didn't really sign up for this. This is my mystery to solve. All right, here it is. Well, Jake, I wish you luck. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do when I go in there. I mean, I would be scared. I wouldn't even step foot in there. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'd rather try to figure this out than anything. You're going to need something. So here, take this for good luck. Uh, is this like a camper's knife or something like that? Yeah, I was going to go camping. Thought I could use it to cut down some trees. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll use it. Good luck with everything, Jake. Thanks, Sean, for everything. All right. He's got to keep my voice down and figure out exactly what's going on. What's this? Is this a map with an address on it? Wait a minute. I recognize that city. That's that's in the same town as where I live. Oh, man. Things are not adding up. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I got to get out of here now. This is my next clue, and I got to follow it. Ah! Ah! What, what happened? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> uh, you could just sneak into my base, huh? Oh, it's you. You're the guy that knocked me out of my house. Uh, bingo. Where's my friend? I'm not telling you. I'm not going to tell you where he is unless you want to tell me who you are. Let me tell you one thing. You messed with the wrong people. You guys are the ones that came after me. I don't want anything to do with this. Should have just stayed in that desert where we dropped you. I don't want to be there. My life belongs back in that city. I just want to get home. Well, the boss doesn't want that to happen. The boss? What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? He got hired to do this job. You should be careful of who you trust. <laughs> no! Come back! I have more questions! Are you serious? What's going on? The more I learn, the more I'm confused. How do I get out of this mess? Wait, the knife. Oh, thank you so much, Sean. There we go. I'm out. He said boss man? Who is he talking about? I guess I only have one place to go, and that's that address I found. Uh, I gotta go now. Jake, Jake! Sean, you're still here? You're waiting? Yeah, I had this feeling. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Uh, we, we gotta go now. Uh, let's go. Drive. All right. Well, get in. Here it is. Stop right here. Well, this is your house, huh? Must feel good to be home. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really feel that way, but this is where everything started. This is exactly where I got kidnapped. Doesn't look like anybody's really home. Yeah, they're probably still under investigation. They don't want anyone messing with the scene of the crime. So why aren't we going inside? I don't know. It doesn't feel right for me to yet. What? What do you mean? This is your home. I don't think I can feel at home just yet. I'm still on edge. I can't really continue my life when there's still people that are after me. Once you think about it, this is the perfect place to look for you. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know why they're after me too. My life just feels like an entire mystery right now. And you have to solve it. You've got to solve this mystery and put your life back together. Yeah, I think you're right, Sean. I mean, I have that lead, so... So maybe I should just go follow it. I can't ask for your help anymore. I don't want to get you any more involved than you already are. Yeah, and all this craziness is kind of stressing me out. I'd like to go home and be with my family. You deserve that, Sean. I appreciate everything. Good luck. I hope you solve this mystery. Thank you. Now it's time to go to that address and figure out exactly what's going on. Here it is. 
The address. It looks like some sort of base. Man, what's that? I hear something. It's it's that guy. Is that my 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 brother? So where is he? I don't know. He got away. Seriously, what did I hire you guys for? Ah, uh, you hired us to kidnap your brother. Yeah, and you did an awful job. He got away. No, I can't watch this happen anymore. Really? It was you the entire time? Oh, look, uh, boss. There he is right there. Shut up. I can see him. I can't believe that you do this to me. Your own family. I'm actually surprised that you made it back. Why? Why did you do this? My whole life, I've been in your shadow. Look at you. Super successful. Big house. A ton of money. Everything I want. And I'm going to take what I want. No, I'm not going to let you do that. It's two against one. What are you really going to do? <laughs> I could take this guy. No problem. You know, out of all outcomes, I didn't expect this one. Harold, you betrayed me. And you betrayed everyone around you. And I'm not going to let you get away with it. Well, from my point of view, there isn't really a whole lot you're going to be doing, brother. Everybody thinks you're dead. Now, if you don't mind, I actually have to go. Your funeral's about to happen. My funeral? Lock him up and make sure he doesn't escape this time. <laughs> yeah, no problem, boss. I can't believe it was Harold. I can't believe he did this. I need to get out of here now. Wait, the knife. Uh, they didn't check my pockets again. I still have it. Ugh. Okay. I'm out. Now I just gotta sneak out of here. Ah, oh, there's this stupid thug. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Wait, I know exactly where I am. And if they're having my funeral, then it has to be at the closest church. Stop! Anyone! Stop, please! Sir! Sir! Yeah, what do you want? Listen, uh, it's an emergency. Can you please give me a ride? I need to go somewhere. I ain't giving you a ride anyway. It's like a five-minute drive. That's about a 20-minute walk. Get to step in. Come on, please. I'll give you five bucks. You know what? Fine. And that's what happened to me. I found out exactly who did all of it to me. Who did this to you? It was Harold. Harold, he did everything. He was the person that planned it from the start. Harold? No, I can't believe this. Wait, really? It was his own brother? Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, I can't believe it either. If you have anything to say for yourself, I bet you didn't expect me to get out of this one again, did you? Honestly, I don't regret a thing. Can't believe you. Can't believe you turned your back on your family. All of this? Because you were jealous of me? Seriously? Why didn't you just talk to me? We're brothers. We could have talked this out. Because you wouldn't have understood me. Nobody does. You've always been the hero. And I didn't want to give you the satisfaction of being a hero again. So that means that you turned yourself into the villain. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did. Well, you did this to yourself, Harold. And now, you have to pay the consequences for your actions. All right, is this the guy? That's him, officer. He did everything. What, you called the police? I don't believe this. Don't be too surprised. You literally kidnapped me. Officer, please take him away. Ugh, this isn't the end of me. I'll be back, Jake. I'm sure you will. I'm late for dinner with my family again. Oh, I just hope they can forgive me this time. I tried to get out earlier, but I couldn't leave work. Man, these roads are slippery. Oh no, I'm losing control. Ah! We need to get him help right now. Oh my gosh. It's an emergency. He's flatlining. He's flatlining. Stay with me. Stay with me. How did I end up here? I thought I was just in the hospital. Wait a minute. This is a graveyard. Hello, Lincoln. Do you know who I am? But it's not time. Don't take me right now, please. I've got so many unfinished things to do. Your time is up. It's time to go. Oh, please. I have to make things right with my family. Why should I give you another chance? Because I'll do it right this time. I promise. Fine. I will give you another chance. But you have one week to make things right. I can do it. One week. The clock is ticking. Oh, my body. It's back to normal. I've got a second chance at life right now. And I'm not going to waste this one. Michelle! Michelle, I'm home! Ah! This can't be real! You're supposed to be dead! I know, I can't explain it, but I'm here now. I was never dead! We went to your funeral! You know what? You faked your own death! That is so selfish! I didn't! I was trying to get back to dinner! No! I do not want to hear any more excuses! You always put yourself first before this family! Michelle, I love you. I have the second chance. I want to make things right with everyone. No! I don't want to hear another word! Shell, please! Let's come back. Let's talk. Wait, Dad? Is, this, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Tom. I'm back. We all thought you were dead! I thought I was too, but I got a second chance, Tom. Second chance? What is that even supposed to mean? Is that just another one of your lies? I'm not lying. Don't you guys understand that I have to work hard to put a roof over everyone's head? So that's what it was. You were just back at work. Yeah, well, don't you understand that I just want my dad to be around more? I understand, and I promise I'm gonna make more time for you. Yeah, well, I guess actions are gonna speak louder than words. Ah! It's a ghost! Michael, hey, Michael. Yeah, that's 
That's right, buddy. And if you don't show up tomorrow at 8 a.m., I will have you fired. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Lincoln, where have you been, huh? You've been gone for like a week now. Yeah, it's been a while. What are you, some kind of lazy idiot? You blew up a big project, you know. Wait, so you don't really know why I was gone? Know why you were gone? You think I have the time to care? The only thing that I didn't notice was you not at that desk like you should be. You know what, man? Who cares? Oh, you better watch how you're talking to me, pal. Why? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna fire me? Your job is the worst job ever. This place sucks. This place is the reason why you're as successful as you are. You understand me? A success of what? Everyone else thought I was dead and you didn't even notice. All you noticed was that a project didn't get done? Actually, it was two. Good. I hope you don't get another project again. I hope they all fail because you're a horrible person. And the fact that I gotta stand here and waste my time talking to you makes me so angry I can't even stand it. One more word out of you and you're fired. I'll do you one better. I quit. I don't need this stupid job. Tom, hey, you got a minute? Dad, yeah, I do. And I know I've been working quite a bit and everything, but I really want to make a bigger difference in your life. I want our relationship to be good. Really? You really mean that? Of course I do. It breaks my heart made you think that I didn't care. Well, how do I know that you're just not lying? Because I just quit my job. I have to prove this through actions. And you know what? If I want to change my life and do better, then I need to listen to the people around me that I care about. Wait, you mean it? You quit your job? Yeah, family comes first. It's the most important thing. All I ever wanted was for us to be a family. That's exactly what I wanted too. I was so scared that you were gone. I know, but I'm not going anywhere again. I promise. Wait, so let me get this straight. The Grim Reaper brought you back to life? Dude, I know it sounds crazy, okay? I didn't believe in any of this stuff before either until he was standing in front of me. This is, this is just so crazy. I, I don't know what to think. But the great thing is, man, is I did get a second chance. And I have to make sure that it wasn't all for nothing. Well, man, I believe you. So how's everything going with you? What have you been up to? It's great, actually. I just started my own business. Oh, wow. I did the opposite, man. I just quit my job. Wait, what? You had a second chance at life and you just up and left? Well, yeah, man. That job was terrible. Of course I did. I need to spend more time with family. I need to make a difference in this world. Not just work for some guy who wants to scream in my face. Well, well, well. Dude, are you always just shouting? What is your problem? What's my problem? What's your problem? You think you could just walk away from me in my business? Uh, yeah, and I did. Oh, buddy, the amount of work that you've set us back on. Yeah, but man, like, why should I care? You don't even know if I exist or not. All you care about is how much money you make. All you care about is yourself. So how could you expect me to care about you? Listen here, pal. I don't have any time for your stupid life lessons. You're going to regret what you did to me. I don't care. I need to focus on more important things. Yeah, you seriously have no idea how much this means to me. Well, after school every day, I've been practicing a lot. I mean, I have a huge game coming up. And it'd be awesome if you came, you know? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Oh, hold on a second. Someone's at the door. Hey, Larry, what's up? Hey, pal, I got some news for you. Oh, cool. Uh, I hope it's good. Yeah, it's good for me. I'm raising the rent. Why? What the heck? You can't just do that. Why? Because I want to. That's why. It's kind of sudden. Kind of in between work right now. Yeah, well, listen, I don't really care about any of that stuff. All I care is I have a little more extra cash in my pocket. So you do what you need to do. Hey, get back here, Larry. Come on. We got to talk about this. <laughs> Seriously, man, what are you doing here? It's kind of creeping me out. I told you, Lincoln, I'd get back at you. So you're the one that got my rent raised, knowing that I didn't have any income. Yeah, me and Jerry, we go way back. His name is Larry. I don't care what his stupid name is. All I care is that you drown in your mistakes. You know what, dude? I've had it. I'm sick of you trying to bully me around. I don't owe you anything. I gave you years of my life. That's enough sacrifice. Now walk away. You know what? Fine, I will. Enjoy being on the streets, loser. Wait, so you want to join my business? Yeah, I mean, I think this could be great. Look, man, I'm in a pinch. I had enough money to get us through the year, but I don't now. Yeah, but didn't you just quit your job and everything? I did. And look, I'm going into this telling you my family comes first, no matter what. But I have to work. I don't have a choice. All right, well, you know what? You've been my best friend since I can remember, so of course you can join me. Dude, that's so awesome. Yeah, but I gotta warn you, starting up businesses, it's heavy work. I know, I know. I've got to find a balance, right? I can't not work forever. I just got to make sure that it doesn't take over my life like it did before. And I know that you're such a better person than Michael was, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Yeah, of course. One thing for sure, though, we got to make sure we hit all of our meetings. That is top priority. Okay, I'll get it figured out, I promise. All right, great. Sounds good. Are you sure this is the smartest choice, Lincoln? What other choice do I have? We need to have a house. Just remember, don't...
don't waste this opportunity. I promise, I'm not going to, okay? And I'm gonna do the right thing. Good, because your time is almost out. Oh, oh man, I'm so sorry I'm late. Lincoln, honestly, I'm just glad you showed up in general. Of course, I wasn't gonna miss it. Dad, there you are. I'm glad you showed up. I wanted to talk to you about something. Obviously, I quit my job, and you can't live for free. So, I had to go get another job. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, what do you think our house and food is free? No, don't be upset. This is a good thing. <sighs> yeah, but I feel like history's gonna repeat itself. No, it's not going to, guys. Just have some faith in me, okay? Just don't forget that Tom's baseball game is tomorrow at 7. Don't be late. Well, I gotta say, on all the business pitches I've heard, I like this one a lot. I'm gonna get back to you, too, about contracts and money and money stuff. That's great. Yeah, I know it is. See ya. Lincoln, we did it. I can't believe it, man. That meeting went awesome. And it's great news for you because now this company's gonna have a bunch of money running it. It's gonna make things so much easier for us. It kind of sucks, though. I mean, that meeting went way longer than I thought it would. Wait, it did? Hold on a second. No, it's 8.30? Gosh, Tom has his tournament. It started at 7. I gotta be there for Tom. It's gonna break his heart. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. There you are, Dad. You missed my entire game. You know that? No, I lost track of time. Yeah, you did. Just like I said, history was going to repeat itself. No, this time it was really a mistake. I just, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what else to say. I'll make it up to you. I, I promise. No, it's always that you'll just make it up to us. It's not the first time this has happened either. I just want you to know, like, I'm not doing this on purpose. Well, honestly, Dad, sometimes it feels like you do. I'm just trying to be better. How did I do this to them again? I think it's time I take you somewhere. No, no, no. You're not taking me anywhere. You promised I had a week. You still have time. I have something you want to see. What? What is this? What am I watching? That is your son, Lincoln. I know who it is. Well, do you notice anything else? Yeah, I was just busy with work and he wanted to play catch and looks like I just ignored him. Exactly. And this isn't the first time it's happened either. Whether it's catch, whether it's help with homework. So sad. Never want to see him sad. Well, every time you let him down, it's exactly how he feels. Man, I'm such an idiot. Sometimes it's so hard to balance things. One thing seems really important and you forget the other things that are really important. Like friends and family and those moments that you can't get back. And Tom will never get those moments back. How do you think he feels? Man, I'm so ashamed. I know I made mistakes. I was just trying to do the best that I could, and I obviously failed. And that's okay, because I still have time. A very small amount of time. You got 12 hours. Use them wisely. I'm going to make things right for everybody. I know what my priorities are. No, guys, come on, please. I promise I'm trying to make things better. It is too late. It's not too late. Please, just let me explain. We are packing our bags and we are moving out. I wanted you to make one thing, just one. I'm being torn in so many different directions, okay? I'm trying to do what's best for everybody. Look, it's obvious that things are just not going to work out between us. Just trust me. I'm doing the best that I can. You're doing your best to care about this business and not your family. I'm growing this business so that I can help my family. It's too late, Lincoln. I just got to reason with them. Oh, no, 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 no! It is time, Lincoln. I'm not going anywhere. I have a family to take care of, and I love them, and I need them to know that. You are all out of time. I still have a little bit left. No, please wait. What is this? Please, sir, don't take my dad away. Please, they need me. You need to learn your lesson, and it's obvious that you have it. Dad! He gave me a week to make things better, and I tried. But you know what? Sometimes you work really hard, and things don't work out. It doesn't make you a failure. It just makes you learn from things. Learn from me. Learn not to make my mistakes. I, I will, Dad. I will. That is what I wanted you to learn. I needed to see that actions speak louder than words. Dad! Lincoln! I can't believe it, guys. And I promise, I'm gonna be with you forever. Oh, oh my gosh. Where am I? Ah! ah it's a ghost! He, he came back from the dead! What? Get out of my graveyard, buddy! Get out! Wait, I'm not a ghost! You're lucky I retired being a ghost hunter years ago! What happened? Did I just come back from the dead? I've got to get to Carrie's house. I've got to tell her what's going on. Carrie! Josh? Carrie! Whoa. Wait, what's going on? You fainted. You came back from the dead? I know. How long have I been gone for? It's been a few weeks. That's why I was so shocked to see you. Uh, Carrie... What's this? 
What are you doing with a picture of Zane? That's my new boyfriend. What? You're dating Zane? I'm sorry. I thought you were gone. I work with Zane. How could you do this to me? I wasn't gone that long. Josh, I'm sorry. I'm just happier now. You were always at work and never with me. Yeah, but I was working for the both of us. So you're really happier now. I'm sorry. I, I am. No, you don't understand. I need to see the doctor who treated me. You're gonna have to wait, all right? I need you to calm down or I'm gonna have to call security. Nurse John, that will not be necessary. Please, sir, I need to know what happened to me. Everybody in my life thought I was dead? Listen, we need to have this conversation somewhere more private. Follow me. Your name is Josh, isn't it? Yes. A couple weeks ago, your heart just completely stopped. All of our machines had no life signs, and we had to declare you dead. But I'm clearly not dead. I know, which is kind of shocking. Hello, hello, all of Roblox. That is right. Our town's biggest company is now owned by the previous assistant CEO, Zane Banks. No, this is impossible. That's my company. My whole life is coming undone, and I have to fix it. Clancy, what is going on here? Ah! It's a ghost! Clancy, no, no, it's not a ghost. I'm real. No, no, you died like, like a couple weeks ago, man. Listen, a lot of crazy things are going on, okay? But I'm back. I'm not dead. I don't trust no zombie, dude. I gotta go. Whoa, Josh? Zane. Look, we shouldn't make a scene. Let's step into my office. I thought you were dead, Josh. Well, here I am, still alive, Zane. This is a lot to take in. I completely understand, but I'm back now, okay? And everything with you and Carrie, I can't change that, but I'm taking my business back. No, uh, that's not gonna happen. All the paperwork, it's already been filed. Uh, I'm the CEO, man. I've only been gone for a couple weeks and you've already moved in, taken my girlfriend and my job? There's a reason why I'm running this company now and you aren't. Yeah, because everybody thought I was dead. Everyone is happy that you are gone, including your girlfriend. Or sorry, ex-girlfriend. Zane, I can't believe you're acting like this. I thought we were friends. Yeah, well, time's changed. I gotta find somewhere to stay, even if it's just for the night. What does this say? Room for rent? Oh, perfect. This could be it. Um, excuse me, are you the owner? Yeah, name's Daniel, how can I help you? Um, my name is Josh and I saw the sign outside. You have a room for rent? Yeah, I have an available room above the shop. Why, are you interested? Yes, please, I, uh, I really don't have anywhere else to go. I'm just gonna need a few hundred bucks for that. I, um, don't have any money, I'm sorry. I've been looking for an extra employee and, I mean, if you're interested, then I'll give you that room. That's like incredible. Yes, I'll take the job. All right, glad to hear. Follow me this way. All right, this is the place. I mean, it's small and nothing fancy, but... But it's perfect. Thank you so much for all of this. Don't mention it, all right? Here, here's the keys. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, kid. All right, first day at work. This shouldn't be easy, right? Just working at a little corner store. What's the worst that could happen? Wow, so so it's actually true, isn't it? Lawrence, dude, I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, how can you do this to everyone in your life? We all thought you were dead, man. Listen, it was a mistake, okay? It wasn't my fault. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You just left all of us and, and you hurt us. But now look at you, alive and well. And what, you're just not gonna tell us? A lot of stuff has been going on. I completely forgot, I'm sorry. Uh, what seems to be going on here? This is personal, okay? Stay out of it. This is Lawrence. Him and I have been friends for years. It's just... It's just that you pretended to be dead, and we all had to say goodbye to you. Look, I I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What? Y you can't be serious. No, I'm not leaving right now. I'm just trying to talk to him. What I see is a customer yelling at one of my employees. So I suggest you walk out. I heard he said goodbye to you once, Josh. This is the last time. Lawrence, I'm sorry. So what? Is it true? You used to be dead? My heart stopped beating. Everyone thought I was dead. They buried me, but I woke up. Is that why you needed a place to stay and a new job? Yes. Everything from my life has been taken from me. I didn't have anywhere to go, and I didn't have any money. Look, you seem upset, and it's obvious you need some fresh air. Come on, let's go for a walk. So you see, I just ended up hurting people. Everyone thought I was dead. They had to say goodbye, and 
And now that I'm back, things are just different. You know, Josh, I was in a position like you were once. I want to show you something. I just came back from the dead. The last place I want to be is at a graveyard. Well, this is my family. You lost your family? Yeah. When they were around, I used to prioritize the wrong things. That's what Carrie said. Before, I prioritized work and I was never around. Yeah. That's why I said I see myself in you. I spent a lot of time working and took away the time I could have been with them. And I regret it to this very day. I want to make sure that you aren't falling in the same traps I did. It wasn't until I lost them that I realized I missed every opportunity that I could have had. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean now. But you? You have a second chance. Not a lot of people get that. Maybe it's a blessing. I just don't want you to live a life like I did. I want you to be happy one day. Daniel, you're not gonna believe it! Oh, uh, hey, what's going on? Well, remember that girl I ran into at the coffee shop? I ran into her again and I got the courage to ask for her number. And I got it! I got her number! Wow, that's great. Uh, I'm proud of you. Look at you. You're, you're moving on with your life. I'm just proud of you and, and how much you've changed. Are you doing okay, Daniel? You don't look so good. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, when we opened shop today, uh... Do, do you think you can handle most of the workload? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna go lay down. Get some rest. Uh, Daniel? Are you alright? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta call 911. Doctor, please. What happened? Well, Daniel is an extremely old man. His time is coming soon. No, Daniel's still young. He's still got fight left in him. I'm really sorry, Josh, but he doesn't have a whole lot of time left. You might want to say your goodbyes. Oh, oh, hey, Josh. Daniel, you're awake. How are you feeling? I'm very tired. I've been so tired for a long time now. Well, I didn't know. You certainly didn't show it at work. My time, it's coming, isn't it? That's what the doctor says. But I don't believe him. I mean, everyone thought I died and I came back, right? You can't die, Daniel. All of our time comes eventually. And if mine's now, then... Yes, then so be it. No, this isn't fair. You're like a father to me now. What are we going to do about the shop, huh? What are we going to do? Everything will be okay. I'm leaving the shop to you. You'll do great things. I, I just know it. I promise I'll, I'll try my best. I'm so proud of you, Josh. Daniel? Daniel, no. Daniel, no! <laughs> move, move out of the way right now! Please, please help him. I, he can't die. I'm so sorry. He's gone. You need to get out of this room right now. No. No, I don't want to just leave him. There's nothing that you can do, okay? He's gone. Daniel, I'm so sorry. And I miss you a lot. I promised you I'll take care of the shop. And that's what I'm going to do. And now you're with your family. I hope you're happy. And I really hope I make you proud of me. Hi, do you need help finding anything? I'm actually looking for a blue tomato. Do you carry them or what? A blue tomato? I don't think so. Oh, hey, Josh. Wow. So, uh, you really work here, don't you? Yes, I do, Zane. Is there something I can help you with? Look, man, I'm gonna be honest. The company, it's falling apart, and I don't know what to do. You want me to come back and fix it, don't you? Well, I'm sorry, Zane, but I can't come back. I have responsibilities. I run this shop now. You're seriously gonna turn down helping the, a huge multi-million dollar company to work at the small corner shop? What's wrong with you? Zane, you took my job from me and wouldn't give it back. Running the company to the ground is your fault, not mine, and you need to fix it. Now, sir, I'll go look for that blue tomato if I can find it. No, get out of my way! Ow, oh, hey! Get over here! You can't walk away from me! So what, since you just came back from the dead, you just think you're better than everyone else now? You don't think that you can help out a friend? Help out a friend? Are you kidding me? Where were you months and months ago when I asked you for help? You denied me and kicked me out of my own business! I have obligations here, and this shop actually makes me happy. You are going to regret this, Josh. Just get out of my store, Zane. I don't want to see you ever again. You're gonna deny me? No one denies me. I'm gonna teach that idiot a lesson. And I guarantee when he doesn't have this shop anymore, he'll have no other option to come back and help me. And I'm gonna get what I want, like I usually do. Right when I get this company fixed, Josh will be right back out on the streets. 
<laughs> See you soon, old friend. Wait a second. What's that smell? Why is there smoke everywhere? No! No, the shop! It's on fire! How, how did this even happen? Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta call 911. Hello, 911? Yes, there's a big fire. I need help. How could this have happened? Daniel, I'm so sorry. I really failed you this time, didn't I? Uh, excuse me, are, are you Josh? Yeah, I am. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm actually Daniel's lawyer. What happened to the shop? I don't know. There was a big fire, and as you can see, it's gone now. Look, like I said, I'm a lawyer, and Daniel was a really good friend of mine, too. I want to help you find out who did this. Thank you. I could really use all the help I could get. Daniel, he had a lot of money left over, and he wanted to leave it to you. What? To me? You're joking. I thought he was just leaving me the shop. No, we just went over his will, and... He left everything to you. You could really see how much you meant to him. This is incredible. I mean, with that money, I could use it to rebuild the shop. Exactly, but hey, look, I gotta go make a phone call to the police, all right? We gotta figure this out. Thanks, I really appreciate the help. Daniel, you always kept telling me not to doubt myself. I'm gonna keep my promise to you. We're gonna rebuild this shop. Well, it took a couple weeks, but I actually did it. I've rebuilt this thing. Daniel, if you were to see this now, I think you might be proud. What's, who's this? Hello? Josh, I think we know who set the fire. Well, look at all of this, huh? It's such a good thing that you're able to get your corner store back up and running. Yeah, after that fire, it's a really good thing. What? What's going on? Jane, you're under arrest. What do you mean I'm under arrest? What are you guys doing? Get your hands off me. This is some kind of mistake. You know I'm a CEO of a company? Cut the act, Zane. You were the one that set fire to my shop. No, you're crazy. There's no evidence with that. Actually, there is evidence. Yeah, the police were able to find the security camera footage on my phone. We saw you do everything. No, no, stop, stop. Well, Zane, I hope you really learn your lesson. I know I have. No, 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 no! The volcano! It's erupting! The town is done for! Oh, help, please! Someone's in trouble! It's gonna be okay! I have a family to get back to! Please help! You'll be okay! Head to the survivor camp on the outside of town! Go! Thank you! I've gotta get back! I've gotta see my family again! No, Lama! Oh, no, more people are in trouble! I can't just abandon them! Wait, no! No! I just miss him so much. I mean, he was my big brother. I know it's a tragedy. He's gone too soon. I miss him too. I wish he was still here. I wish he was still alive. He was always the strong one. The one that just got up and got what he wanted. You and your brother were so close and you had so much fun together. Hold on to those memories, Luke. I will. I just I wish I could make more. Ever since I was born, my brother was always there for me. We did everything together. He took me to my first scary movie, helped me beat my first video game. And when he said he was leaving, I was so proud of him, but he never came back. And now, I'm left with a hole in my heart. Hey, Luke. Been a long time, dude. Yeah, I recognize you. You're one of Daniel's best friends, aren't you? Uh, Travis. Yeah, that's me. Funny, I was actually just looking for you. Wait, really? Why? I have this. It's the last letter Daniel wrote. Wait, what? How, how did you get your hands on this? Look, I can't talk all day, man. Daniel is a great guy. I just figured you should have it. You know, it's so weird. He's one of the smartest guys I ever met. Doesn't add up that he didn't make it out alive. Well, what do you mean by that? Why would you say that? I mean, haven't you thought about it? Did Daniel was a tough guy, and he was just smart. Yeah, you're right. He is the smartest guy I know. I guess everything just happens for a reason. Yeah, maybe I'm just being crazy. I don't know. Look, man, it was nice to see you, but I gotta get going. All right, see ya. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this letter. You know you're gonna have to open it, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just nervous. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what he said. It's gonna help with the grief. Yeah, I know. You're right. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, little bro. Long time no see. Just wanted to write you a quick note, let you know that everything here is going great. We're helping tons of people rebuild their homes. I mostly just wanted to let you know that I love you, little bro, and I miss you, and I'm very grateful to have you in my life. Give my love to mom and dad, Daniel. P.S. You better keep practicing that video game. I'll kick your butt when I get back. This is the worst idea to read this. You may feel like that now, but I'm sure it'll help you. I don't know, like, the way that Travis was talking to me yesterday just really makes me feel like he still could be alive. You shouldn't be thinking that way. But what if he is? What if he's out there somewhere and no one's helping him? We need to move on. You need to move on. Let's go to the skate park or something. It'll cheer you up. No, no, it's it's been a rough week. I'm gonna go home. I need to get all this sorted out. Ugh, Daniel, what am I gonna do with all your stuff? This was your first teddy bear. I gave it to you at the hospital when you were a baby boy. So tiny. <laughs>
my son. <laughs> hey, Dad, what are you doing? Why are you cleaning out his room? It's no good just sitting here, and it hurts to look at it. So I figured packing it up would be the best choice. It hasn't even been a month yet, Dad. But we need to move on, Luke. No, he could still be alive. He could still be out there somewhere. Don't talk like that. This is already hard enough. You don't think I know that? At least I'm holding on to something. I'm holding on to hope. Daniel is not coming back. You need to stop making this harder than it already is. Everyone's just giving up on him, including you, but not me. I'm not giving up. Not until I find out what's actually going on and I find my answers. Come on, where is he? Th there he is. J Travis. Uh, uh, hey, Luke. What are you doing here? You want some pizza or something? No, 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 thank you. I, I was thinking about what you said the other day about my brother. Yeah, what about it? You're right. I mean, he was too clever and, and he was great outdoors. He could totally still be alive. Like, that's possible, right? I mean, maybe, but I could also be wrong, you know? Yeah, but there's a mite in there, so there's a possibility that you're right. I just feel like I didn't realize what I had with my brother until it's gone. I feel like I just took it for granted. I always thought he would just be there and now he isn't. So I'm gonna get him back. Yeah, but he really could be gone, Luke. And that's life, you know? You gotta pick up and move forward. Well, that's not good enough. I'm gonna keep trying until I'm proven wrong. I'm not just gonna give up. You know, it's kind of funny. You actually kind of sound like Daniel right now. Exactly, because if I knew the situation was flipped, he would do the same exact thing for me. I need answers, and I'm gonna find out the truth. Well, uh, good luck with that, man. And if you find anything, let me know. I miss him a lot, too. Yeah, sure thing. All right, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. I've withdrawn everything. All my life savings. Got a ticket, and I'm, I'm gonna fly where Daniel was last. I'm gonna look for him, and I'm gonna find him. Luke, you can't be seriously doing this. No, I am. I mean it, Dad. I'm going. You can't. I'll, I'll ground you. Dad, I'm too old for that. You just can't go. I... I can't lose another son! Just because Daniel isn't here doesn't mean that we have to live our life in fear. I don't know why, I just I just have this feeling that he's out there somewhere. He needs me, Dad, I know it. I am your father, Luke, and I know what's best for you. Just listen to me. Refund your ticket and stay here. No, Dad, I'm not doing it. It's not an option. If you get on that plane... Sorry, Dad, I already made up my mind. I promise I'll be back, okay? Goodbye. Luke! Luke! Oh, here it is. This is where everything happened. Where the volcano hit. Entire city's destroyed. There's lava everywhere. Why? Why? We lost everything. <laughs> oh, man. Where do I even start looking in all of this? Everything's just destroyed. Hey, you're a new face. You part of the rescue team? No, not exactly. But, um, you think you can help me find someone? I guess I can help. Who are you looking for? Um, he actually kind of looks like me. He's my older brother. His name's Daniel. Have you seen him anywhere? Daniel? Oh, yeah. I know him. Wait, wait. Seriously, you know him? What are the odds of that? It's a small town. Your brother was pretty important here, too. But yeah, I know Daniel. I know him pretty well. I'll take you to him. Wait, what? So he's alive? He's actually alive? Yeah. Come with me, kid. This is insane. Oh, my God. Th thank you so much. I don't see anything anywhere. Where is he at? What are you talking about? He's right here. Daniel? Wait, who are you? That's not Daniel. Oh, no. All right, listen here, man. You're going to follow our rules and our rules only. Yeah, about time you figured it out. Of course it says Daniel. <laughs> what do you want from me, all right? I don't want any problems. Our entire town was destroyed, dude. What do you think we want? We want your cash, you stupid kid. Yeah, so empty out all your pockets and everything you got in that bag. Guys, please, I don't have much. I only have enough to keep me alive. Well, that's not our problem, all right? We don't care. Hand it over. All right, fine. Here, take it. But just please be honest with me. Have you seen my brother? That's what's important to me right now. Listen to him crying. Oh, I lost my brother. When? He's probably already gone, all right? Just accept it. Yeah, the volcano took out pretty much everyone in town. Only the strongest are gonna survive here now. And it's obvious that your brother just didn't have what it took. You guys are wrong! Oh, man, I literally have nothing now. I have to figure this out. All right, this seems like to be the only open restaurant in town. I need food. I'm starving. Hey, what can I get for you? Are you giving away anything by chance? Giving away? Wh what? What could I be giving away? Listen, I just got robbed a couple hours ago. I need food. I'm starving. Yeah, buddy. Everyone's here starving, all right? You've seen the look of this town. We're in shambles. I'm just asking politely. If there's not anything, just let me know. Yeah, there's nothing for you. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no food. And you better leave because you're wasting up space in my diner. You don't have to be so mean about it. Hey, hey, Jim, don't worry, okay? I'll cover whatever this guy wants. Oh, fine, Barry, whatever. What kind of game are you playing? Look, I don't have anything left to rob. 
What? I'm not gonna rob you, dude. I don't know, man. The last person that told me that took everything from me. Well, I'm sorry. A lot of the townsfolk are under stress. They're acting crazy. Oh, man. It was a mistake coming here. So you're not from town. What are you doing here? It's a long story. Basically, my, my brother's gone. I'm just trying to find him. I'm really sorry, but you're not alone. A lot of other people have lost loved ones, too. We have a survivor camp. You're more than welcome to stay there for the night. I mean, it's either that or the streets, so that'd be awesome. Yeah, right now, it's a whole lot safer than the streets. Once you get your food, we can go. I'll take you there. Yeah, man. I mean, me and my brother had so much in common when we were kids. Yeah, what was your brother's name? Uh, it was Daniel. Hey, Daniel? Yeah, why are you saying it like that? Does it ring a bell? Yeah, I know him. I thought he made it out. Wait, what? Hold on, you're not playing a trick on me, right? I need to know the truth. Did he make it out? Yes or no? Well, I think so. Everything was so crazy, but I feel like I saw him running towards the volcano to help people. Well, how does that mean he made it alive then? Lava started flowing the opposite way towards the town complete opposite direction where he started. That means it's really likely that he's still here. I mean, maybe he's just lost or something or hurt. Maybe he's trapped somewhere. Uh, I mean, it's possible. Everyone else is really focused on the town right now. Well, well, which way did he run? I need to go out and look for him. Doesn't look like you're going anywhere right now. A storm's coming. My brother ran towards an active volcano to help innocent people. He deserves to be helped too. Yeah, you've got a point. I don't think the storm can stop us. Us? You're gonna come with me? Yeah, I owe it to Daniel. All right, good. Well, we better be quick then. Oh, dude, it's raining pretty hard now. Yeah, but I don't think that's the worst of our problems. There's lava everywhere. Yeah, this looks really bad. It actually looks worse than it was before. This isn't good. All right, well, where did he go? Come on, we need a direction. Last time I saw your brother, he was running that way. Great, the place that looks impossible to get to. But we're gonna have to try. And fast, this storm is moving. But maybe this rain will cool the lava. Trust me, you don't want cold mixing with hot. You're right. Right. Steam can burn just as much as fire. Come on. Be careful, man. Oh, oh my gosh, Barry. Barry, you okay? Oh, oh, that was weird. Where, where am I? Oh, no. Listen, I need to know if you're fine. What's my name? Uh, uh Luke, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Listen, you gotta get in cover. You can't come with me anymore. But you can't go on by yourself. It's so dangerous. Oh, oh man, my arm. I'm gonna have to, okay? Look, there's some cover over there. Just get under there and stay there. All right. Call one of my friends to come get me. Good luck, Luke. Thanks, Barry. I promise. I'll be back to check on you. Oh, man, it's just getting worse by the second. What have I gotten myself into? I wish I was just back home. No, no. I have to do this. I have to do this for my brother. I can't just give up on him. He never gave up on anyone. And that's exactly how I'm gonna be. I just gotta think smart. I can't just be running into random situations. I could get really hurt. I need a sign. Anything. Come on. Anything at all. What? Is that? Is that movement? Hello? Is someone there? Wait, what? I'll be right there! Okay, it has to be coming from the small cave. Come on. Ah, it's so dark. Hello? Please, anyone? Daniel! Daniel! Luke? Luke, come over here! Daniel? You're alive! Barely? What are you doing here, man? I'm here to rescue you, man! I knew it! I knew you were alive! Everyone doubted me! Well, my leg is broken. I'm living off of eating bugs. But I'm still alive. Dude, you're a survivor, man. We're gonna get you back home and you're gonna be alright. I didn't think anybody would find me, but here you are. Of course, man. We're brothers. And we're always gonna get through this together. Out of the way! We're losing him! We need to stabilize him now! Hold on, Dad! You can make it! Uh, and... I'm here, Dad. I'm right here. If I don't make it, I have one wish. What? What are you talking about? It's not your time to go. Do this for me, son. I want our family to be together. The brother and sister will need you now more than ever. We need help here. This isn't looking good. No. Just, just stay with me, Dad, okay? Just, just please. Everything's going to be okay. I, I love you. Dad? Dad! No, 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 please! Oh, no, we lost him! I'm sorry, but you have to leave. We need the room. No, I can't, I can't just leave him! Leave? Now! No! Dad! I promise, Dad. I promise. Maybe they brought him back. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he made it. Uh, doctors, they save people all the time, right? Oh, come on, come on. Ben? I have some bad news. No. No, oh, please. You have to save him. You have to just do something. I'm sorry, Ben. Despite our efforts, we couldn't bring him back. He's gone. You had one job to do, and you couldn't save him? What kind of doctor are you? A great one, but that's it. I'm a doctor, not a magician. Sometimes, no matter how hard we try, situations are out of our control. So... 
what am I supposed to do now? Just, just move on with my life? He was my dad. How could you tell me just to deal with that? I don't know, Ben. You're an adult. Figure it out. Like I said, your dad is dead. Deal with it. <sighs> wow. I have to be strong. I have to take care of everything now. I've never planned a funeral before. How do people do this? Okay, I have to figure out what to bury dad in. I think he looked best in his blue suit. And maybe the gold tie I got him for Christmas? What was that? Uh, where is it? Brad, what the heck are you doing here? Wait, are you trying to steal from dad? I just want some things, that's all. It's not like he needs this stuff anymore. Wow, that's low, Brad. Even for you. Shut up, Ben. You're always so perfect. You know what? It's your fault he's dead. What did you say? No, it isn't. I did everything I could to save him. You should have done more. You should have saved him. Brad, that is not fair. You just don't get it, do you? You're dad's favorite. Always so perfect. That was nothing but a big messed up loser to him. Uh, is that why you hate me? Because you felt like dad loved me more? It was dad's dying wish that we stick together as a family. You, me, and Bella. Yeah, good luck with that. I want nothing to do with you, Mr. Perfect. And Bella wants nothing to do with either of us. So it looks like you're going to fail dad one last time. Shut up, Brad. Make me! Ah! Ah! Found the Rolex. You're not burying dad with it. It's mine now. Dad, you really had a tough final wish, didn't you? I had to figure out how to fulfill it. <sighs> okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, hi, Bella. Ew, gross. Did anyone see you out there? Uh, no. Hello to you, too. I came by to let you know that Dad, he passed away, Bella. Oh, man, really? Wow, that's sad. Yeah. I was with him until okay, cool. the end. I've got things to do now, so you can go. You don't even care, do you? Of course I do. But if any paparazzi catches me with some random poor loser, they might think I'm not famous anymore. Get over yourself, Bella. You're my sister. I have 30 million subscribers on YouTube. What do you have? I don't know. Compassion, maybe? <sighs> Whatever. You're so judgmental. No, I'm not. You just got famous and started thinking that you're better than everyone else. And you even stopped talking to your own family. Well, I'm definitely not talking to Brad. He just tries to get me to give him money. So trash, honestly. Bella doesn't have time for a poor family. Can you stay out of this conversation? Super tragic and pathetic. Dad's last wish was for us to just be a family again. It's all he's ever wanted. Look, Ben, you're my brother and all, but I have my own life too. And it's really busy. We all have our own lives, Bella. Just... Can we at least try? Okay, that's enough. I'm sick of this loser crying. Get out! Bella, I hope one day you'll realize what truly matters. Because all of this doesn't. Can't believe he's gone. He was the best dad in the entire world. I hate you, loser. What's your deal, Brad? This is all so stupid. It's such a waste of time. I just want to get my part of dad's money and go. That's just so messed up. How can you look yourself in the mirror saying that stuff? Just leave me alone. Then stop confronting me. Uh, wait. Bella? Bella, why can't you even stand with everyone else? I'm here. Isn't that good enough? No, it's not. Dad would have wanted us to support each other, not just hide in the shadows. It's always been what dad wanted for us, huh? Dad always pushed me to be perfect and to be the best at everything. It almost feels good to not have that pressure anymore. Yeah, dad wanted that because he wanted the best for you. And, and look, it made you rich. But it didn't make me happy. I'm sorry, Bella. We need to talk. You, Brad, and I about dad after this. We're family. And even if Brad is being a jerk, I'm still here for you. Thanks. And maybe you're right. Maybe we should talk. For now, let's honor him. Don't go yet, okay? There's something I have to do. Uh, thank you guys, all of you, for coming. It's hard to think about my dad not being here with us anymore. He was the strongest person I've ever known, even up until the end. He taught me so much, and I hope to carry his strength with me throughout the rest of my life. Thanks for coming, guys. Feels weird being back here again. Yeah, I know. 
I feel the exact same way. Yeah, well, there's still at least some cool stuff here. Don't go claiming it all, Ben, okay? This isn't all yours. Dude, do you really think I care about any of this? Brad, this is about dad. This is about our family. I don't care about this stuff. Well, speaking of stuff, if you don't want it, then that means I get it all, right? Are you serious? Is that why we're here? To talk about money? No, uh, Brad, it's not all of yours. Dad wanted us to be a family again, so that is why we are here. Well, I want money, and that's why I'm here. That's not fair. Why should you get all the money? Well, it's not like you need it. Just because I'm rich? Well, I should get way more stuff than either of you two. Enough, guys. Look, we'll sell everything and split it equally, okay? No way. Bella has her own fortune. I have nothing. Why should you get all the money when you don't even have a job? Stop fighting. So you two brought me here just to tell me you're stealing all my money. Nice. You are the best siblings ever. My gosh, don't you guys care about each other? Don't you guys care about any of this? We were once all happy together. We all grew up with each other. Look at each other. What happened to us? I'll tell you what happened. Bella got spoiled rich and you became a crybaby. You can completely forgot about me like everyone else does you two never help me That's out because you're always getting involved in stupid things brad yeah brad the last time i saw you you literally stole my credit card well, i was gonna pay you back with what money stop it with the money and let's just talk whatever i'm out of here you guys suck what yeah i'm too rich for this nonsense who cares about a hundred grand i spend that in a week on sushi sorry ben but this was a terrible party a party we didn't even talk! Oh, come on! Hey, thanks for having me over, Ricky. I really needed someone to talk to. My brother and sister are driving me insane right now. Yeah, of course, man. Family can be really overwhelming sometimes. I get it. I just wish I had a family like yours. They all seem to genuinely care about each other. I mean, your family is actually here getting along. Yeah, I, I consider myself lucky, but remember, every family has its own struggles too. We're not perfect, if that's for sure. I know, I, my dad wasn't always perfect either, but he tried his best. It's just that my siblings never seem to understand that. They're just really selfish and they blame him for almost everything. Family's really important, Ben, and they're the only ones that you've got since, you know, mom passed away and now your dad. I know. And it was my dad's dying wish that we would become a family again. I have to make it come true for him. I owe it to him for taking care of me for, for all of us all of these years. Just give it time, Ben. Rebuilding those connections takes time and effort. It won't be easy, but I think you can do it. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. It's going to be tough, but I'll just take it one step at a time. Yeah. Now, come on. Just enjoy the party. So, you're positive you can get this price? Absolutely, Ben. I'm the best in the business. I'll make sure to market this house to its fullest potential. Wow, it's a great house. I mean, I grew up here, you know? Lots of memories. Yeah, that's wonderful to hear. This looks like the perfect house for a family of four. Plenty of room, nice backyard, and fully renovated. Yeah, my dad put a lot of work into it. He was very proud of this place, but just make sure you sell it to a good family, okay? Someone who will appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, well, I can't make any promises about who buys it, Ben, but I'll do my best. Well, here you go, Ben. This is a payment for the sale of the house. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> Goodbye, Dad. Ben, this house can't be your father. It's just a property. No, uh, uh, of course not. But, I mean, this was my dad's house where I grew up. Uh, yeah, well, now it's going to be someone else's house. It's time for you to move on, Ben. Now let me do my job and sell this bad boy. Dude, I told you to stop coming by like this. Look, I just, I wanted to bring this for you. Money? What is this for? It's for you. Um, we sold Dad's house. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Ben. Uh, you're welcome, and I'm gonna give Brad his share tomorrow, too. Thanks for taking care of all of this, Ben. You've always been the most responsible one among all of us. I know I'm the oldest one, but, like, I'm so busy, and I don't have time for any of this. I may not say it often, but I'm proud of you. You've built an amazing life for yourself. Thanks. I don't hate you, you know. Life is just complicated. Yeah, no kidding. So, what are your plans now? Well, I'm thinking about starting a business on my own or something. I don't know. Time to explore new paths. I mean, Dad started his own business, so I figured I would try the same thing. That's really cool. I, I really hope it works out for you. Yeah, and I know you're probably busy, but maybe sometime you're free, we can go grab some coffee. Uh, you know, 
I used to get coffee with dad around this time once a week, and every time it was just a nice bonding moment. Yeah, I guess we could. I think I can fit it in my schedule. So, do you want to go now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure thing. Cool. You drive, I'll buy. And remember that one year dad hid all of our Christmas presents? And then he said the Grinch stole them? Oh my goodness, Brad absolutely lost it. He cried for an hour until dad said it was just a joke. <laughs> oh man, I'm really glad we talked, Bella. It feels good to reconnect. I know I'm always doing something, but, but we should make an effort to be in each other's lives more often. I really missed you. I've missed you too. Brad? What the heck? What did you do to my car? You two sold dad's house and you're keeping all the money to yourselves. I saw Ben leaving with the bag of money, so I followed him. Brad, I have money for you too. I was gonna give it to you tomorrow. Yeah, right. You two are just liars. All of that money should be mine. What the heck, Ben? Why did you do this? Me? I didn't do anything. This is why I don't want to be around you guys. Every time we get together, something like this happens. You are all so toxic. I can't do this anymore. I have my own life. Goodbye. I can't believe you, Brad. Shut up. No, did you call the cops? No, I didn't call anyone. Yeah, you did. You're just trying to get me in trouble again. Ugh, I'm out of here. Are you serious? Great job, Ben. You really fixed that electrical issue. Thanks, Percy. I appreciate your business. Come on, Bella, answer. It's Bella. Leave a message after the beep. Uh, hey, Bella. It's me again. I just wanted to see if you had any time to talk. I know you've been busy, but I've been trying to reach out to you, and I guess I'll just try another time. All right, uh, take care. Wait, uh, Brad? What are you doing here? You haven't returned any of my calls, Ben. Yeah, because I've been busy with work. Hold good, because I need money. Wait, you spent all of dad's money? That was hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, well, whatever. Tried making some investments and it didn't work out. It's not my fault. Investment? I'm not going to give you any more money. That's not how I operate. Come on, man. You want us to be family again, but you can't even help me out when I'm in need? What's wrong with you? I want us to be family again. That doesn't mean I'm just going to give you handouts. That's not the way it works. Look, if you want money, then I have an offer for you a job job seriously yeah you can learn how to do electrical work it'll give us a chance to spend time together and you can earn money at the same time well i do need money yeah fine whatever great i have a job tomorrow at 9 a.m and i'll text you the address we can start from there okay sounds good just don't be late yeah 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 i told him not to be late Ugh. Come on, we have a job to do. Uh, I'm here, all right? Let's just get this over with. Hey, uh, thanks for coming, Ben. I've been having some uh, trouble with some of the lights. <laughs> I can't seem to get them working at all. Uh, no problem. We'll take care of it. Just uh, give us some time. Okay, cool. You know, uh, I'm just gonna go on my little daily walk here and move my legs. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Remember, Brad, today you're here to observe and assist me. This work can be dangerous, so don't touch anything without instructions. Yeah, whatever. I can figure it out. You don't have to babysit me. I mean it. Safety first. You need to learn the skills before you can start working on houses. All right, fine. Whatever. Uh, Brad, can you find the electrical box in the garage? I'll start working in the other room. Yeah, I'll go looking for it. Got it. Must be this stupid thing. I can fix this so easily. Ben just doesn't believe in me. Watch this. Huh. Uh-oh. What have I done? What did you do? <coughs> oh no! <coughs> Where's the exit? Uh. uh, what happened? How did I end up here? Yeah, what happened, Ben? Are you just like a complete idiot or something, man? I was just out working out my calves, and I returned to see that you, you burnt my house down, you lunatic! No, wait! Uh, I didn't do anything! I hadn't even started working yet! Glad you're awake! If I had started in the garage next to the electrical box, someone messed up pretty bad, some dumb electrician! Ha <laughs> uh, See? Yeah, you, you're just like a liar, dude, and you suck! Your, your business sucks! Your lying sucks! You're, you just suck, man! Like, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about all of this! It wasn't me! I'll take responsibility, and, and I'll make sure to, to cover all of the damages. I thought you were my friend, but, but no! You're just a liar! <laughs> How 
How could you do this? I promise, Quimby. It was my stupid brother. He's the one responsible for this mess. Uh, just, just get out, all right? Get out. I never want to see your dumb, stupid, ugly face again, all right? And I mean it. Hey, let's calm down, okay? We can just talk about this. I said get out of my property now, all right? Or I'm going to, like, punch you or something. So you think Brad intentionally burned down that house and then just ran away? I don't know if he did it on purpose or not, but he can be a bit of a moron sometimes. You tried calling him at least? Uh, I wanted to, but look, I'm really mad about this entire situation. I gave him one chance and he repaid me by burning down a customer's house and then just ran away. <sighs> Poor Quimby. Yeah, that's a tough spot to be in, man. I mean, it's understandable why you're upset. I just wish my family could be a, a little bit more normal. No family is truly normal, Ben. I mean, my mom is super overprotective. My brother loves to play pranks on us. What's important is that you guys are there for each other no matter what. Yeah, you're right. I just, I need to go find Brad and sort this all out then. Thanks, Ricky. Good luck, man. I do hope everything works out. Oh, Bella just posted on her channel? What? Oh no, this isn't good. That's right, guys. My agency just ended my contract. I worked so hard, and now it feels like it was all for nothing. Maybe I should see Bella first. Oh, what do you want? You're not allowed to be here. I'm her brother, Donovan. Let me in. I'm sorry, but Bella's not seeing anyone right now. She's in a fragile state. I'm not going to tell you again. I need to talk to my sister, so step aside. Hey, what? What are you doing here, Ben? Coming to revel in my misery? No, I came here because I care about you, and I, I want to make sure you're okay. Does it look like I'm okay? I'm done for. I'm losing millions of views and dollars as we speak. It's a really tough situation, but I don't want you to go through it alone. I'm here to support you. I'm your brother. If you really want us to be a family, then prove it. How? What are you talking about? Help me get my agency back. Then we can talk. All right. I don't know how, but I'll do my best. I promise. We'll see. Don't disappoint me again. All right. Bella needs her agent back. Let's hope I don't let her down. This is so stressful. I feel like I'm feeling dad more and more. It shouldn't be this hard for just all of us to come together. Wait, what? Did that come from my kitchen? What the heck are you doing, Brad? This is my house. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't think you were going to be home. So you just break in? That's not how this works. Yeah, so what? I'm broke and I'm hungry. And I haven't even got a paycheck from my stupid boss yet. You burned a guy's house down, Brad. How, what, what, do you expect to be paid for that? And then you ran and then ignored my phone calls. You're never working with me again, man. Just uh, consider yourself fired. Are you serious? You're gonna fire your little brother? I thought dad told you to always take care of me. No, dad wanted us to be a family again. Not for me to consistently clean up your messes and bail you out. Me doing this to you is taking care of you. Fine. You won't give me money. That's how it is, huh? Ignoring dad's wishes. Well, I hope it feels good to live with that guilt. Please get out of my house now. Fine, this house sucks anyways. Your food does too. Yeah, that's right. I want my yacht to be ready by five, so don't mess this up. Excuse me? Uh, are you Bella's agent? I used to be. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about her. She's going through a tough time right now, and, and I think she needs your support. You need to take her back. Look, kid, I don't have time for this. I've got bigger things to worry about. Bella was your biggest client, and dropping her is probably going to be the worst mistake you're going to make. Oh, you think so? You're her brother, aren't you? Yeah, so? The story's about to break about you and your business. How you both burned a house down? That's not going to help Bella's career, is it? Look, that was my little brother's doing, not mine. You can't blame Bella for that. I genuinely don't care. I care about making money. And if Bella's not making money, she's not my priority. You're heartless, man. Bella deserves better than someone like you. Yeah, well, I'm awfully rich. So get out of here before I have security kick you out. Okay, thank you. Bye. You're fine. I'm leaving. But mark my words. She's going to be more successful without you. And you're going to live to regret it. I don't care. I'm going on my yacht. Bye, poor person. I got to find a better way to help her out. What have you done, Ben? 
Look at the mess you've made. What are you talking about? All I did was talk to your agent, just like you asked me to. Well, I didn't ask you to do this. That's right, everybody. This is breaking news. Reports have surfaced about the brother of famous YouTuber Bella running a fraudulent electrical business. If her brother is such a terrible person, really makes you wonder what she is like. Am I right? <laughs> We'll be back to wildly speculate and roast Bella in five minutes. Look, uh, that wasn't me. It was Brad who burned the house down. Like, I'm just trying to fix things. It doesn't matter who did it, Ben. The damage is already done. Thanks to you, my career is totally over. Uh, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I was just trying to bring her family back. Well, congratulations, Ben. You're doing a fantastic job at destroying everything. That's not fair. What's not fair is everything I worked so hard for, everything dad made me go through to be successful, it was all for nothing now. Just get out, Ben. Pella, don't be like this. That means you do what I say. Now go. All right, we're back with the roast session. Let's go. I don't know what to do anymore. I I'm trying. I'm trying my best to, to fulfill your wish, but... Feels like I'm just messing up everything. I want her family to be together, but it's just, it, it keeps slipping through my fingers. I'm sorry if I'm not living up to your expectations. I, whatever happens, whatever I can get done, just know that I love you. I love you with all my heart, and, and I'm doing everything that I can to make things right. I'll continue to honor your memory and strive to, to be the person you believed I could always be. I won't let you down. This is so ridiculous. My brother thinks he's better than me. He always has. Dad definitely thought so. Why aren't you more like Ben? Blah, blah, blah. Pff, I'll show him. I need money and he's got plenty of it. It's time to level the playing field. Stupid truck. He needs this for his dumb business. Well, I'm gonna sell it and make some cash. This will teach you. You should have never fired me. Whoa, the truck is actually kind of fast. Oh no, you don't. Seriously, the cops? Ugh, no! Oh, no, no, no! I'm not going back to jail! Ah! No! Oh, I can't do anything right! Hey! Is that my brother in there? I need to see him now! Sorry, buddy. Don't care if you're the king of Roblox. No one's allowed in right now. But it's my truck he stole. I don't want him to get into more trouble, okay? I won't press charges, so you can let him go. Look, I don't care if it's your truck. This guy is a wanted criminal. We found stolen items on him, and he's wanted for multiple robberies. Been looking for him for years. Wait, seriously? Years? I had no idea it was this bad. Didn't even know your own brother was a criminal? Wow, great brother, huh? Hey! He just doesn't tell me what's going on. Well, now you know. He's going downtown no matter what. Fine. I'll meet you there then. How long will it take? Gonna take some time. Your brother's pretty hurt. We'll let you know when he's stable. Okay, just please take care of him. We'll do our best as long as he cooperates. Go home for now. There's nothing you can do here. Where is Brad? He's in the emergency room. They won't even let me see him. Oh, they're gonna let me see him. Get out of my way. Wait, uh, Bella? No, he robbed me and then crashed your car. Do you have any idea what kind of image this is gonna send to the public? If that crash didn't kill him, I'm going to. Bella, uh, our brother could have died. He's in the hospital right now, okay? We need to help him, not worry about your public image. Brad deserves whatever he has coming to him. This is his own fault. He's such a loser and I'm so over this. We can't just abandon him. He needs our help. We need to be there for him. I've been doing my best to be there for the both of you, but you guys are making it just so difficult sometimes. I'm making it difficult? Whatever. I'm not even supposed to talk to you until I get my agent back. Yeah, that's all you care about, right? Your agent? We're family. Our brother is in trouble. He could have died today. And you're only thinking about yourself. Did you even know that he's been stealing just to get by? I don't care. That's his choice, not mine. Just tell me when I can see him. I need to give him my peace of my mind, stupid idiot. How am I going to fix this now? 
What is your problem, Brad? Why would you steal from people? I needed the money, okay? It's not like you care or understand. I, I don't care. I I'm here right now. Look, stealing is never the solution. You can't justify your actions like that. Well, it's so easy for you to say. You're always the perfect one. Dad's favorite. After mom died, dad just ignored me. No, dad didn't ignore you. He was doing his best to take care of all of us at once. I was the one that had to step up and take responsibility. But that doesn't mean he loved you any less. Well, it sure felt like it. He never put any responsibility on me. He didn't trust me with anything. Good idea, too. Just messed that up as well. <laughs> Dad did the best he could in a tough situation. Look at yourself now. This isn't the way to deal with your feelings. You have to grow up, man. Not everything is dad's fault. I know I messed up, Ben. I'm scared and I don't know what to do. Messed up so much that I don't see a way to fix this. Look, I'll do what I can to help you. But you really messed up this time, Brad. This is your chance to turn things around. All right, visiting time's over. Shut up and get out. I'm gonna do my best to help you. I promise. But if you waste this chance, I won't be there to bail you out. You'll have to live with the fact that you failed our dad and yourself. can't get me in. Do you remember who I am? Nobody cares anymore? Uh, rude! Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm becoming less famous, and I don't even know who I am anymore. Is that what you wanted to hear? No, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Well, I'm not okay. I'm basically a nobody again. Well, fame shouldn't define who you are, Bella. Well, it's a big part of my life, and now it's slipping away. I don't even want to think about it. <sighs> What do you want anyway? <sighs> this might sound strange, but I was wondering if you can help me bail out Brad. Are you serious? That loser robbed us both, and now you want me to help him? Let him rot in prison. That might teach him a lesson. He's family. I think he did it as a cry for help. He needs us. No one ever helped me when I need it. I worked super hard on my own because I had to. And now look where I am. Look, that's why we both need to be there for him, okay? We can make a difference in his life. I, I believe in that. He'll always be a worthless loser. That's harsh. How can you say that about your family? And remember how close you guys were as kids? What happened to that? Why are you just so angry? Because everything in our lives is messed up, Ben. Our relationships, our careers, it's falling apart and I hate it. And that's all the more reason not to throw away the one thing we have left, each other. Fine, Ben, whatever. I have so much money, so it doesn't even matter. Just please stop talking about this. And if Brad ever robs me again, I'm coming after you for the money. Fine, Bella, I don't care, but we both have to go to the police station to get him out. We have to do this together. Ugh. Uh, fine, let's go then. Thanks for getting me out of there. That place sucked. Seriously? Is that all you have to say? Do you have any idea how much money that just cost? Look, I'm really sorry for what I did, Bella. I messed up big time. Yeah, you did. And this is the last time, Brad. I'm never helping you again. After today, you do not exist to me. How is that different from any other day? Oh my gosh, you are so ungrateful. Guys, shut up. No, I don't care what you want. I care about what I want. And that is, I don't want to be around you losers anymore. That's not fair, Bella. I was just in a bad spot. I made a mistake. I'm not a loser. You're always in a bad spot, Brad, because you keep doing bad things. You never learn from your mistakes. You're so stupid. Yeah, well, you're just a spoiled brat. Let's calm down. This isn't helping anyone. I swear, Ben, I've learned from all of this. I, I really want to change. I don't want to hear it. Just stay away. Away from me. Gosh, what is wrong with her? She's going through a lot right now, and I don't know. You know how stubborn she is. Yeah, well, I do want to change. You believe me, don't you? Look, I want to believe you. I really do. But right now, actions are going to speak louder than words. Yo, you seem really down, dude. What's going on? Look, just no matter what I do, nothing seems to work. I try to help my siblings, but feels like I'm constantly hitting a wall. I get it, man. And your siblings, they're tough. Changing people's lives take time, too. Especially when it comes to your family. Don't worry, you guys will make up and everything will work out. Look, I wish it were that simple, but I feel like I'm the only one that wants this. Bella only cares about herself, and Brad, he doesn't seem to care about anything. I try so hard, but sometimes it feels like it's not enough. Well, I'm sure they care for you, Ben, but they definitely need to show it better. That doesn't mean they don't appreciate you and what you do. I hope you're right, Ricky. It's just hard when it feels like I'm carrying the weight of our entire family on my shoulders. You're doing your best, Ben, and that's all you can do. Thanks, man. 
I appreciate you for all of this. It helps to have someone who just listens. Yeah, of course. Remember, you're not alone in this. Don't give up. This takes time. Hey, uh, Bella, how's everything going? Oh, hey, Ben. My career is doing better thanks to your constant pestering. I finally sorted things out with my manager. Oh, that's great to hear. But I was actually asking about how you're doing personally. Like, how's just, how's life treating you? I guess things are okay. Just trying to stay focused and make the most of it. Yeah, I understand. I mean, you're always a hard worker. But you know what's coming up, right? Am I getting an award or something? No, it's gonna be the anniversary of dad's death. Is it really? Wow, I completely forgot. I want to get together. The three of us. You, me, and Brad. It's important to me. Ben, you know I can't forgive Brad that easily. Every time I've tried to help him, he's only managed to ruin it. I know it's hard, but this is for Dad's sake. Can you guys just put your differences aside just this once? <sighs> Fine, whatever, Ben. I'll come to dinner, but don't expect me to suddenly forget everything that he did. Thank you. It means a lot, and I figured we could chill and play some games. And by the way, I'm totally going to beat you at Jenga again. You beat me? Okay, we'll see about that. Wow, nice place. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's a roof over my head, so I can't complain. I mean, I'd never thought I'd see the day where you had your life together like this. I'm proud of you, man. Well, I think the accident was a real wake-up call. It made me realize I needed to straighten things out. I'll say. It's been quite a journey for both of us, huh? Yeah. So, what's going on? I mean, you didn't just drop by to comment on my newfound stability, did you? Actually, I came for a certain reason. Look, I've invited Bella out for dinner, and I want you to be there too. Me with Bella? Yeah, no dice, bro. You know how things go between us. We're gonna end up fighting, she's gonna get mad, call me a loser, and run away. I know, I know, Brad, but hear me out. It's the anniversary of Dad's death, and I want us all to be together for him. He would have wanted that. Yeah, I don't know. It's not easy for us to be in the same room without arguing. Please, just give it a try. Let's put our differences aside for this one evening. For Dad, we owe him that much. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll try it for dad. But if she starts getting annoying, I swear, Ben. She won't. I, I promise. Thank you, man. It means a lot to me. I'll see you at dinner then. Yeah, well, if there's food there, I'm there. We'll make this work. I promise. It's time for us to just come together as a family again. Thank you, guys, both of you. Look, I know we all miss dad, and I understand that things haven't been easy for any of us, so this means a lot. Yeah, except for Bella, right? Hard for us, but she's always had it easy. Shut up, Brad. You're just a loser who can't even get his life together. That's it! That's it! Guys, one night! I can't do this with you anymore! Just, just please! Ben, Ben, stop! You're embarrassing me! I don't care if I'm embarrassing you! No matter what I do, you both can't see beyond yourselves! You've always been so selfish! Bella, all you care about is your following! And Brad, you just seem to always want to get into an argument! We've barely been here for five minutes and the two of you already hate each other! What do you mean, dude? I'm trying to change to be better! Bella is the one with the issue! What? No, I'm not! You started. You guys are both giving in to it. I don't care what you guys have to say anymore. It's just one night. I asked you both for one night, and I thought after nine months, things would have changed, but I guess I'm wrong. You don't want to be my family. You guys only care about yourselves. Enjoy your chaotic, miserable lives. I'm out of here. Come on, Ben, wait. We're trying to change, I promise. Ben, please, don't go. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried my best, but Bella and Brad, they... I don't care. There's nothing I could do. Oh no, uh, this storm is bad. I can't even see. I'm losing control. Ah! Ben? Ben, come on. Come on, wake up, dude. Come on, Ben, please. <coughs> oh my gosh, he's awake, awake, oh my gosh, Ben. Dude, you scared us half to death, man. Wait, you guys saved me? Of course we did. We're family, Ben. 